What's up, fly girls and fly guys? Abigail's in the house, and welcome to another AI Fuzz video. Today, we will be I'll be sharing our um, the journey JSON prompter. Um, JSON is basically standing for Java Script Object Notation, and it's essentially an easier way for humans to understand language as well as machines to parse the language. So what we did was basically took um, you enter, we, we took a chat GPT project and we gave it instructions. Um, I will link a description to the instructions. It'll be in our Google Drive and they gave it some blank examples of the JSON template. So you would type a prompt in chat GPT through this project. So this is how it works, guys. Um, in chat GPT for, for we built a uh, project called Mid Journey Prompter. So a project is essentially uh, an agent, a bot you can train. You give it instructions and you add files uh, as examples. So in ChatGPT, we added this instruction to the agent. We told us what he wanted to do. So we're telling it basically to take our prompt, fill in a JSON template with a lot of details, add uh, any details that were missing, and then to take that And I'll put that in uh, the JSON template. So that's the instructions. I will keep that and put that on the Google Drive. And then we gave it some examples. So these are examples uh, that have different things filled in and also a blank one. So you want to have at least five examples so it knows what is going on. So what's going to happen here is since MidJourney does not cannot um, use JSON temp format as a prompt. It will take my, my bot, this agent will take the JSON template, fill it in from our prompt, and then spit it back out as natural language prompt that MidJourney would recognize. It's all also optimized from MidJourney because all parameters are set. If you're familiar with MidJourney, so the aspect ratio, the, the um, experimental field, the um, all, all the, the style, all of it is has a value depending on your prompt and depending on where this goes. So it spits that out as a language prompt and you put that into MidJourney. So I'm going to do one now. Well, let me show you what a couple of we did. Um, all right. So this was the prompt that I started with right here. Beautiful landscape, a lush environment. And again, that's a decent prompt. And I put that through MidJourney. It gave me this straight up. Now I put this prompt through our MidJourney prompter and it put it through a JSON template and then it spit it, it added things that were missing and it spit it back out and gave me this prompt right here as natural language. It has all of the parameters listed and it gave me these, these photos, which are phenomenal. You compare these to this and you can see the difference. Um, so I did another one here. Uh, let's do this one. Okay. I did a cinematic shot of a fish, Pixar style. Drain Plumbing is the, is the plumbing company. Uh, so this is what it came up with just based on my prompt. It would be, would, it would be good for some people, but you want to get the most out of it. So I put it to our prompter. It, it added so many details that were missing, and it came up with these shots, which were really, really good, in my opinion. It really captured what I was looking for in my original prompt. Here's another one. So Ed's a big Wes Anderson fan, so I want to do this for him. Simple prompt here, but I tried to be as detailed as I could. When there, Wes Anderson and Fulham shot, that is symmetrical, uh, symmetry, I can't speak. But I put that through, and, you know, Mid Journey missed, missed it because it, I, I guess I didn't add enough information. I didn't give it enough to go on and it missed the mark. So I put this prompt into my mid-journey prompter. It spit out this very detailed prompt and look at this. So much better. It captured what I was looking for and it allowed me to get the most out of the prompt. Of the prompt. Um, so I even tried it with a simple prompt like a bunny. Nothing at all, gave it no direction and mid-journey gave me this. 
put a bunny through our mid journey prompter, it spit out this again with the details and all parameters filled. And he came up with these beautiful bunny pictures. So before I go, I'm going to do one live for you so you can see how it works. Um, so I will die. So I did a really simple prompt cyberpunk spaceship interior during a war. A captain looks distressed as his crew starts to lose hope. That's my prompt. So I'm going to run it through the prompter. And we're going to see right here, it's analyzing it. It's taking my prompt and it's starting to fill out the JSON template here. And again, in the JSON template, there's camera shot, shot type, depth of field, intensity, color, palette, everything is in there. Along with the parameters, aspect ratio, 21 by 9. I didn't set that, but going by my prompt, it kind of figured that out. Chaos, stylize. Um, I came up with that JSON template, and then it takes this template with all the information organized and converts it back to a natural language prompt from a journey, which is right here. So I'll copy that, and I'll go to my journey, and I'll paste it right here. And there's the prompt, again, with all the parameters detailed, and we're going to run it and see what that comes out as just from my prompt. You can see right away it's 21 by 9. And hopefully this will give us a better, better look to the prompt that I wanted it. All right, now here's, it, here's what I came up with after going through the front earth. Really nice photos here. There is a ship captain. It's really nice settings. So it does wonders for your prompt. It may hoot or mess. It may not be what you're looking for, but I think this helps out a lot. I will keep all the instructions. Uh, you can download that for free at our Google Drive and try it out for yourself. You need to make a project though in GPT-4, feed it the instruction and give it some examples and go ahead and use it. So make sure you like and subscribe. We're working on some other things that are pretty cool babies. So I'll see you next time. Uh, Abigail's in the house and I'm out the house because I'm exhausted and I, I got to catch some bugs. See you later. Bye.